Hello and welcome to the first in a series of videos designed to teach you how to use the Dalit Amberfin workflow engine. My name is Jonathan and I will be taking you through the steps required to build, deploy, and monitor your workflows. Let's start off with the basics and get to know the workflow engine designer. To access the workflow engine GUI, just click on your Windows Start menu and navigate to the workflow engine link. As you can see, the workflow engine is web-based, so you can save this link and access it from any other machine on your network. The default link takes me to the Manage page, which allows you to deploy workflows for execution. There's also a Monitor page for monitoring the status and progress of active workflows. For now, I'm going to navigate to the Designer page. In the Designer window, there are four main areas, the Navigation Controls, the Workflow Stencils, the Properties of the Tasks, and the Canvas where we edit the workflow design. Across the top, we have Navigation Controls. Most of these you will be familiar with, like New, Save, Save As, Cut, Copy, and Paste. You can also use common keyboard shortcuts like Ctrl-C to copy and Ctrl-V to paste. And if your internet browser supports it, you can press F11 to go full screen. Two buttons you won't be familiar with are Download as Zip, which allows you to download and share your workflow designs, and Automatic Layout that will help you tidy up complex workflows. Down the left side of the screen, we have all the workflow stencils. We'll go into these in detail in the following episodes. Above the stencils, we have two buttons to import and export stencils, and two buttons to change the view. For now, let's just get the hang of basic workflow editing. To add a task to your workflow, simply drag and drop the stencil onto the canvas. I'm going to start with a watch folder, so I'll drag that over. Once a task is added to the canvas, you can see the relevant properties in the right-hand panel. The next task in my workflow will be a transcode, so I'll drag and drop the transcode stencil onto the canvas, and then connect the task to the watch folder task. Now I have two tasks on the canvas. I can move each one around independently, or if I hold down my left mouse button for a second on the canvas, I can drag around multiple tasks and move them together, just like you would do in PowerPoint. I can also resize the task, and if I make a mistake, there's always the undo button. That's the end of our first tutorial, so I'm going to save my workflow using the Save As button and give it a name so I can come back to it later. Don't worry if you click on the Manage or Monitor tab without saving. It will prompt you to save before you move away. Go ahead and take some time to practice your workflow editing skills, and I will catch up with you in the next episode, where we will learn how to use the entry-level workflow stencils. To find out more about our products and solutions, please visit www.dalit.com. If you find the video helpful or have a suggestion for future tutorials, you can tweet us using at Dalit Academy or email us using academy at dalit.com.